Now, the Leader of the House talks about the Socialists. Let's talk about the Conservatives. Yeah. He'll be aware a Conservative peer is under investigation by the National Crime Agency over fraud. Medpro, a company linked to Baroness Mode, was handed hundreds of, billions, hundreds of millions of pounds in government contracts during the pandemic. It has now been reported as been raided by the police as well as her home. There are serious questions, Mr Speaker, about the due diligence that were performed on this company. So can the Leader of the House give, let us know what evidence they hold and why they're refusing to give a single sheet of it out into the public domain? What have you got to hide? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, he, uh, Jeff, you're not the... And just to say he's no longer the leader, I know uh, we all assume he is, but there we are, Minister. <laughs> I, 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 was, I, I was going to point out to the Right Honourable Lady that business questions follows in due course, <laughs> and that if we had an opportunity to raise these things with the leader then. <laughs> Angela Rain. Well, that was a, a, a way of deflecting from the actual serious question, Mr Speaker, that they're not willing to answer because they know there is suspicion about the way in which they handled those contracts. But on the topic of protecting public purse, Mr Speaker, as we speak, this government is frittering away almost half a million pounds a day on storing PPE unfit for human use. That's after £10 billion alone has already been wasted on unusable, overpriced and underdelivered PPE. In fact, useless PPE storage is costing the taxpayer nearly half a million pounds a day. Will the government's procurement bill close the loophole and prevent cronyism from corrupting our politics and wasting public money? Uh, Mr Speaker, these charges made by the Socialists are completely false. They have no bearing on reality and they completely ignore what was the requirement two years ago. We needed PPE. There was a global shortage. Everyone in the world was buying PPE and... British manufacturing managed to turn around and supply PPE in unprecedented quantities. If I remember rightly from when I was Leader of the House, um, it went from about 1% domestically produced PPE to well over 70%, possibly even into the 80% that was produced domestically. This was an enormous effort, and it has to be said everyone was calling for it at the time because it was urgent to protect people uh, in care homes, to protect people in hospitals, to protect people in offices as masks were demanded and PPE was demanded, and this was delivered. And the Right Honourable Lady the right honourable lady would have sat on her hands and done nothing, expecting it to take months and months to procure a single pair of gloves. <laughs>